Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to be seasoning this wok. It's not hard to do. It's real easy. There's a couple different ways you can do it. But I'll show you how I do all my cast iron. Stick around. Now like I said, there's a bunch of different ways you can do this, but like right out of the uh, just right out of the box this thing they say it's ready to go but all my cast iron I always season it before I use it they say you can just wash it off and and it's ready to go but I, I like to season it first uh, when you get these you usually get a uh, something that tells you about you know the care and how to take care of it and seasoning um, so all you do guys I've got the oven set at 400 degrees we're going to put it in for an hour we're going to shut it off and then we're going to uh, just let it cool off in the oven um, the first time I usually only do it once but if after that if I start seeing a little bit of rust or something I'll uh, you know I'll, I'll give it a couple times I do that at least once a year I'll see I'll take a whole day and season it three or four times but uh, if and you know like this they recommend seasoning it after after you use it so but uh which what we usually do is uh, like if she has to use water to wash out her cast iron she'll put it on the hot burner just for a minute and you can see it dry off and then you just smear some oil on it and you're good to go I got this little brush here to get into the handles here but you can use, they say don't use paper towels because sometimes with this uh, textured finish they'll, uh, you know, you get some paper towel residue. It's not that big of a deal. I've never, uh, I've never had that much of a problem with it. So, okay, so all I'm going to do, just got some oil here. You can use cooking oil, olive oil. Um, some people, you know, they really stick to a certain kind like corn oil or um, uh, sesame seed oil or something like that but I just uh, I just use whatever we got on hand when you're cooking with a wok though you want to use vegetable oil because like olive oil I think that's what this is if you're cooking with olive oil it it won't cook your food right so but let me now I'm gonna get my paper towel And just lightly rub it now if if you do this for an hour it just takes a light coat if you put this in for an hour and when it cools down if it's still sticky put it on longer and if it's still smoking leave it on until the smoke goes away because that's what you want it to do you want it you want to see some smoking going on with it um, It's really burning that oil in there. That's what's going to give you give you your flavor. Make sure I get the edge here. Now, if this is cast iron, if you got a regular uh, pan that's nice and shiny and silver, um, I won't be able to do that because I don't have one. But if you're going to use a skillet or a wok like that, then you'll do it on the burner. But um, since this is cast iron, you're going to do this pretty much the same way you would do you would do a pan, a skillet, a pot, whatever. All right, now set this down here. I'm going to do the bottom. You don't have to. I always do kind of more for aesthetics you know just so it looks even you know the color looks real even all the way around it so. 
but they are right. Normally you can just, just take them out and start using them, but like I said, I like to put my own, <coughs> excuse me, I like to do my own seasoning, you know, season it first my way, and then, and then it's, it's fine after that. If you, if you take care of it, you know, don't leave water in it overnight, don't stack them, um, like if you have a lid, leave, leave your lid off a little bit so air gets into it. You don't want, you don't want it sealed tight. You know, I'm talking about like a, a pot, you know what I mean? Or a skillet with a lid. So you can see some of these things here I'm not real worried about because it's on the outside. And they'll burn off if you miss any. So, just a light coat of oil. Alright, now I will wipe some of them off of there. Alright, now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to mess here. <laughs> I'm going to put this in the oven for one hour. I've, like I said, I've already got the oven. It's already heated up. It just, it doesn't take a whole bunch. Just get a nice thin coat on there. If you have any extra, get you another paper towel. I'll show you. If you think you got too much, get you another paper towel. It's going to go like that. You should be alright. But like I said, if it feels sticky once it's done, you know, stick it in there for another hour. You're not going to hurt it. You can't over season it. You know what I mean? So, there. Alright. So I'm going to stick this in the oven for an hour. And I'll come back with you guys after it's cooled down. So it's probably going to take about two hours. But for you guys, it'll be instantaneously. So, let's get this in the oven, see what we come out with. Okay guys, so, here we go. There it is, all done. It's all, uh, it's all seasoned looks good can't wait to use it so I guess we'll have to stick around for some videos of this thing cooking us some food so it's real easy like I said just light coat of oil throw it in the oven at 400 degrees for about an hour if it's still smoking after an hour just let it go a little longer till it quits smoking and then let it cool down in the oven so there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. I'm gone for now. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye and take care.